Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss some Raspberry Pi project ideas. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 12. If you're fond of handheld devices, then you must try this Pico computer. The clamshell design involves a tiny display and a QWERTY keyboard that might look like a desktop toy, but it can do everything a regular laptop would do. One interesting feature of this project is that it has a simple design. It does not contain any 3D printed parts. The complete computer is made by assembling the PCBs. Though the project might not be practical to work on, still, the complete idea looks cool. Number 11. If you're thinking to work on Raspberry Pi clusters, then take some notes from this project. It uses a Turing Pi 2 on which four Raspberry Pi compute modules are inserted. To give the project a decent look, it is kept inside a laser-cut acrylic case. Raspberry Pi OS is installed on each Pi, and using Kubernetes, you can create a master node and three worker or slave nodes. Kubernetes automatically manages and deploys the apps on the cluster. This allows it to do things like load balancing and adjust for a missing node if one's removed. Number 10. Sorting a group of objects might be a tedious task for you. In that case, use this project to sort the objects easily. As you start the operation, a servo-based gripper collects the objects and transfers them to a conveyor belt. An IR sensor detects the object and stops the conveyor belt when the object comes under the camera. The captured image is sent to a web browser where the image classification is done using TensorFlow Lite. Once the classification has been done, the conveyor moves forward and sorts the objects accordingly. Number 9. While thinking of server racks, the first picture that comes to our minds is large chunks of cables and boards, right? Well, this is not always the case. Let us introduce the world's smallest server rack to you. That can be placed alongside your desk. It runs Docker, so it can handle a number of containerized network applications. The UPS has a 5,000 milliamp hours battery that could give a decent amount of backup during a power outage. It also has a 256 gigabyte SSD, which is used for file and media storage. On top of it, the laser cut acrylic case gives an elegant look to the server rack. Altium's a PCB design software that's both powerful and easy to use. With its intuitive interface and comprehensive set of features, Altium Designer makes it easy to create high quality PCB designs. And with all new Altium 365, now you can share your PCB designs with anyone from anywhere with a single click. With Octopart, you can get real-time component insights as you design your PCB in Altium. Check the description for more details. Number 8. A companion robot always helps us out with various tasks, and one such robot is Emo. It can respond to touch, tap, vibrations, and even pass out like an actual human being. Its design incorporates a combination of solid and freeform modeling techniques. While to streamline the printing process, the robot body is divided into several parts that can be easily assembled using screws. Keep in mind that it's a sensitive robot that can show various emotions, so handle the robot with care. Number 7. Using a Raspberry Pi 400 and a 7-inch HDMI screen, you can create a custom CyberDeck pretty easily. After a couple of hit and trial, Faceless Tech decided to fix the screen on the right side of the aluminium frame, while on the left, an amp, speaker, headphone jack, and USB-C port are put together. This gives him the ease of connecting the wires, and to hide the wires, he used a hexagonal mesh cover at the back. Below the Pi 400, a recycled Samsung battery and a power bank are placed that runs the system when it's not connected to the external supply. Number 6. Smart homes are equipped with various sensors that can give you the complete temperature readings of your house. But if you're looking for an affordable option, then this monitoring system with remote sensors and a centralized dashboard is all you need. 
Each sensor includes a 1,200 milliamp hours pouch cell and a Pimeroni lipo shim that can power the Pi Pico for a long time. The Influx database takes time-based data from sensors like temperature, humidity, and battery status that can be viewed on a Grafana dashboard. Number 5. Improper waste disposal is one of the concerning ways that is polluting the environment. To address this issue, Akhtar decided to build a neural network-based robot that can classify different kinds of trash with the help of Edge Impulse. It runs on Python scripts and can be operated remotely. The laser scanner guides the robot around its environment, thus avoiding obstacles. As it travels around, it captures images with the webcam, which are classified by the neural network. Number 4. Incident light meters are an essential tool in photography, but the downside is that they're costly. To solve this issue, you can use this DIY light meter. It measures ambient light brightness, as well as the red, green, and blue components of the light, which corrects the white balance readings in future iterations. Though modern-day cameras have a built-in light meter, building a DIY meter from scratch helps us to understand its working. Moreover, the results are also impressive. Number 3. If you have old and broken keyboards, you can make this type of macro keypad instead of throwing them. It can make your work easier by providing shortcut keys for opening the most used software, writing a string, or using it as a media control device. On pressing a button, the logic level goes from low to high, sending the command to the computer. It has a total of 12 buttons that can be modified according to the purpose you like. Number 2. Are you also tired of those messy connections while building a project? Then you must switch to this method. Using the magnetic lock system, you can connect various blocks by just picking and placing them. Each block can be individually addressed and controlled using other blocks. You can even combine multiple blocks to work on a specific application. Whether it be object detection, object tracking, or home automation, these blocks give you the flexibility of creating any project. Number 1. By following this project, you can make a low-cost, high-quality game console pretty easily. The controller is made on a perf board with four tactile switches for movement and a joystick for easier control. The controller buttons directly connect to the GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi. After wiring up the controller, you'll need to install GPIO Next software. This software runs in the background on the Raspberry Pi. It reads the state of your buttons and turns those into button presses and joystick movements on the virtual game controller. So, these were some of the good Raspberry Pi project ideas that you can try. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We'll be back with some great project ideas soon. Till then, goodbye!